speed and backstabbing intrigue. And that's just CNN. Now, that got your attention, didn't it? These were the main ingredients of one of America's most popular TV soap operas ever. But never mind America. It was the most popular television show in my home country, Britain, from 1978 to 1991. It was, of course, Dallas, airing on CBS. And now it's coming back on our sister network, TNT, with a new generation of viewings, dreaming and scheming, joined by many of the original stars. And I am I'm more than delighted. I'm ecstatic to welcome three of my personal television heroes to my humble set. Larry Hagman, Linda Gray, and Patrick Duffy. I was 13 years old when you came on British TV. I was a, a sort of pubescent young near man creeping into teenage years, and this show exploded like a volcano in Britain. And you remember how big it was. Oh, it, was it became the biggest show. It was, I think, only the royal wedding, Diana and Charles, ever beat it in the ratings. It was compelling, gruesome, fascinating, You mean exciting. Dallas, not the royal wedding. Yes. You're back on that well, one. Well, actually, both were, yeah. actually. They were both soap operas in their own way. But everybody in Britain watched it. Everybody wanted to go to Dallas right. and to lead this incredible life. So welcome to all three of you. Thank JR, you. Sue Ellen, Bobby. Wow. As you'll always be to me. This will be the what best intro we have ever, ever gotten. Ever. It will be. It will be. It's Since 1978. How do you all feel? Uh, I mean, obviously, you're pleased, or you wouldn't be doing yeah. it, but now you've actually done some filming. Right. And you've gone back in time, if you like. Was it all you hoped it would be when you signed up to this? Yeah, more. Really? More. Yeah, for the, three other, for the three of us. We had this realization that we would never work together again. We're the best of friends and have been for 30 years. I mean, really? 35, the, years. 35 years, the closest of friends. I, I have no closer friends in my life Seriously? than these two people. That's amazing. Yeah. And we knew we would never work together again because whenever we would step on screen in any form, people would say just what you said. Look, there's J.R., Sue yeah. Ellen, and Bobby. And yeah. so we never would work together again. And then this gift was presented to us. But how amazing that you've stayed so close. And well, unusual, I would say, in the it business. It is. Yeah. Like for any business, any industry, you know, yeah. to have friends that you've worked with and to still be friends 35 years later. And it's inexplicable because we were this close day one. Of the show, yeah. like hello, how are you? Well, what I'm is Patrick. most inexplicable is, of course, it, I mean you're obviously both very nice people of the show, but Mr. Evil here, the dark dealer of evil scheming. What? I mean, you look so nice look and that. normal today, Sweet but person. you were—I mean, you were the—you were the great role model for all older brothers like yeah. me. I tormented my two younger brothers for years after you showed me the way. I want to thank you. They don't want to thank you. you know, my immediate younger brother was the, in the Bobby position. Yeah, he wants to kill me. Um, but he joined the army and got out of his, out of his system like that. Yeah. You're obviously nothing like JR in real life. Everyone's always told me that. Yeah. For you, you couldn't really bring back Dallas without JR, right? I mean, no, we're no, all agreed no. on this. Were you remotely concerned, given that you were like the, the top dog, if you like, that he might damage the brand? Yes. How long did you think about it? <laughs> about till they told me how much I was going to make. <laughs> <laughs> how much was it? I don't remember. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> I spent it already. <laughs> but it's a serious question because I think a lot of sequels of anything right. can often be crashing disappointments. Right. You know, all the buzz around this is it's terrific. And I think the blending of the, the great characters that we know with the hot young blood that comes through is so clever and gives it a real chance of success second time around. But Dallas was such a wonderful phenomenon at this time. I would understand serious concern, particularly for you, I think, as the kind of leader, if you like, of the pack. Mm -hmm. it, how much did the friendship come into it? Well, I, I wouldn't be doing it without them. Uh, we wouldn't be doing no, it, would no. it? No, I mean, we, somebody approached me and they, would you like to do the show? And I said, are my friends going to be on the show? And they said, sure. And I said, Lynn, let's see a script. And then we all, can, we talked about the script. We liked it very much. Yep. And so we said, yeah, and it was like that. Yeah. Well, it took about 10 years to get going. Yeah. Well, and I think people forget that we're dear friends and we do talk. Mm, and so it isn't about, you know, one getting something and the other one not getting it or whatever. We talk all the time about all the details. So, Larry, you've, you look great, but you've not been very well recently. Is everything okay? You've yeah, been back to normal? Yeah, so far, yeah. I love the fact you brought this in. Well, yeah. Is this I a genuine J.R. Nobody knew who the hell I was unless I put my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> you see, immediately, see that laugh? That, the Stetson, the laugh, the evil chuckle. Was that, was that your chuckle? 
Or was it one you perfected? Well, in Germany, it ain't my joke. <laughs> They're always saying, give us that laugh, Larry, in German, you know, and I said, that ain't me, that's my interpreter. <laughs> you should hear him in Japanese. He's oh, very, God, he's very Japanese, funny. That's great. We did yeah. a little montage yeah. of, the, of the great old days. You did? Uh, uh, which great. I want to play, just for anyone watching who doesn't understand okay. why I'm so Where excited today. We want to see it. We'll see it under. I have finally figured everything out, that's all. You have been trying to free me. Tell me, JR, which slut are you going to stay with tonight? What difference does it make? Whoever it is, it's got to be more interesting than the slut I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Did you really say he that? He said that. Yeah. I don't think you can say that on TV anymore. <laughs> wow, so. you push the envelope. You said you weren't evil? Yeah. Well, you think that's evil? <laughs> I wonder I drank. I yeah, really? no wonder I would drink. I had to drink. Did you like being, for what you were, for a long period, the, the most evil man on television? Well, you know, I don't think I was an evil man. I was just like a Texas businessman, that's mm. all. Yeah, evil. <laughs> <laughs> they keep bringing that word up. I'm just doing what people do for business. Now, come on, you can't start distancing yourself from being evil. JR was wonderfully evil, mm. magnificently evil. Constantly scheming and plotting, even against his own family. That is evil, isn't it? Especially his own family. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. But did you did you like the reputation? Of course I do. Yes. That's wonderful. Well, how do people react even now? They uh, the the question they say is who shot Jr. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. tell them? Yes. Yes. What do you Bing, say? Bing Crosby's daughter. <laughs> Shot Peter Pan's son. <laughs> Who shot JR? Because, of course, there were only about 3,000 suspects. That yeah. was the beauty of the plot line, wasn't exactly. it? Could yeah. have been literally anybody. Right. Yeah. When you guys are filming in Dallas, presumably you live there for the duration or whatever, yeah. when you walk around, I mean, it must be like the royal family, isn't it? Everywhere. Seriously, they must go yeah. crazy. London, Berlin. Where are you most yeah. popular outside of America? Yeah, uh, I well, think I mean, it was in, in the UK. UK yeah, yeah, in the, I UK. the UK. And also, uh, also in Germany. My gosh, we're still playing in Germany too. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, every night, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. you and David Hasselhoff, really, are the big <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah, he's doing very well. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Let's take another break. I want to bring out the new generation okay. of Ewings. Yeah. Really? I want to find, yeah, why not? Oh, you, you right. think so? Younger, fresher meat. Okay. Oh, fresher? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> No more than Jock did. Drilling for oil on South Fork. Miss Ellie threw Jock's rig off the ramp. Eighty years ago, Christopher. You have no right to drill on this land. I'm a Ewing. I have every right. You only confirmed the find this morning. Bobby John was going to tell you tonight. You're a part of this? Back now with Larry Hagman, Linda Graham, Patrick Duffy, and joining us from the new Dallas, Josh Henderson, Jordana Brewster, and Jesse Metcalf. Welcome Thank to you. the new brigade. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank you now, very much. you have the inauspicious task of playing J.R. Jr. Yes, it was uh, uh, very intimidating at first, trying to figure out what would John Ross be today uh, after having this amazing, loving father. My guess yes. is evil. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He's, uh, he's one of the nicest guys around. I, mean, no, I don't want to hear that. I want yeah, no, to hear about um, brutality. He learned how to do business one way, and that was uh, the J.R. way, and uh, he thinks that you know, hopefully he can put his own spin on it. And uh, I mean, massive, massive pressure on you in particular, because everyone's going to look at you as being effectively the new JR, with the old right. JR towering over you on set like this omnipotent figure. How do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, I, I, I actually was completely excited about the, what I considered to be a, what was going to be a fun challenge. You know, I, I knew that there was probably a lot of expectation on this series in general coming back, but also who is, uh, who is JR's spawn, John Ross, you know, who's he turned into? Is he mm -hmm. everything like his father or nothing like his father? Well, John Ross was a little baby, right? I'm not, yeah. I mean, if our memory serves me. He was just a little tiny. kid that always looked up to dad and... We all worried about John Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what the that. hell's gonna happen to this poor little kid? <laughs> he seems to have turned hey, out okay. Here I am. Now, Jordana, you play uh, the Ewing's cook's daughter. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. So you're not fully fledged Ewing. I am not a Ewing. Not I'm, this year. I might, uh, yeah. But you not, might not be, knowing the way the interbreeding goes, <laughs> it's only a matter of time. I'm involved <laughs> with both Ewings, so I'm a very lucky, lucky girl. So you're having a simultaneous fling with these two? 
Not simultaneous. <laughs> I, just, I just sort of ping pong between both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm in love There's with both. No <laughs> how, how have you found it coming into this iconic show? It's been wonderful. It's been really wonderful. I mean, I, I was a fan of Dallas, and um, were you? And were you just saying that? You must have been about five. I, I was very young. How old um, were you in exactly. Dallas? Exactly. How, um, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I was born me. in 1980. Okay, so, so you were born two years after it started. Are, yeah. But you would have been 11 or 12 when it finished. So I, I can just mm -hmm. about buy you being a fan. But I mean, the reality is, you're the fresh blood here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. right. Replacing, and yet with, legends. We're not replacing, which is why it's not terrifying. If we were replacing, that would be terrifying. Yeah. We're joining, which is what's so wonderful. And they've been so mm. awesome and welcoming. Generous to work with or impossible divas? No. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> It's so generous to work with. Jesse, for you, from Desperate Housewives to Dallas, does it get any better? You know, I, I feel incredibly blessed to have the opportunity to be on a, another television phenomenon, you know, and I, I think this show has the potential to be, to be huge. It's been brilliantly done, I have to say. I mean, the, the production you. values are great, but the, the fusion between the two, which could have been fraught with danger, right. is actually looks completely seamless, mainly because you three just haven't aged. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is ridiculous. Yeah. No. I mean, I've, I've got to be honest, Sue Ellen. <laughs> I'm going to call you Sue Ellen because <laughs> to, to me, you I are always. You, ha, you don't look a day older than when but you finish. I, I, I know you are. I'm wiser. Yeah. You're many days older, but yeah. it's, it's, uh, this is one of the reasons it must work. Yeah. Is it looks like just, we're just carrying on where we left off. Yeah, I mean, I think it was all really set up with that, with that pilot episode. That pilot script was just so amazing. You know, it was really a seamless transition. You know, from where the where the show left off into the new series, and as far as chemistry is concerned, I mean, you know, these three really set the tone. We like to call them the big three, and I mean, the their big three, their <laughs> friendship and enthusiasm. It's uh, it's contagious. They made us yeah. very comfortable coming in, which I think really helped the storylines. You know, feel real and and very believable. They, there was a lot of it was just they really welcomed us with open arms and made a lot easier for us. Let's get a reality check here. I don't like all this sick of fancy, Larry. Just, I mean, how they've been getting on? Can we have a little critique? They're going to drag us into another thirteen years. Kicking it straight. Could you and imagine being is it even at ninety four? I wouldn't trust you. No. Uh, you know what no. I mean? No, no. It's no. just a leopard would never change his spots. No, never. <laughs> well, look, for me, as you can probably tell, this is all terribly overexciting. It's been a great privilege to have you guys and a great excitement for you, I know, to join them. And, and I really appreciate you all coming on. It's Dallas, obviously. It airs Wednesdays, 9 p.m. on TNT. The new series premieres on June the 13th. I want it to be the biggest hit of the summer because then I can watch Dallas endlessly again. Oh, and we can live in my youth. Thank you. And you can come sure. back. Yeah. We'll come back anytime. Anytime you like, seriously. It's been right. a pleasure. Good thank luck with all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. See you. Really, thank you. Dallas, I need to go and lie down, have a, <laughs> have a cold shower with Sue Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa.